All right, so Lauren and I are going to do a little tech talk on the new M7 machine. We just got out of class. We had a chance to sew a first project on it, and I'll tell you what, it is a powerhouse, isn't it? Is. It is. One thing they're mentioning a lot about on this machine is the motor. So we wanted to talk for just a minute on the motor that Janome has decided to put in this machine. Have you heard what they're calling it? Yeah, they're saying that this machine has a DC brushless motor. Do you want to explain what that means? Yeah, so sewing machines generally used to be AC powered and then they went to DC powered motors which gave them a little more power, a little more constant power. So it's almost like when you go up a hill in a car, you gotta give your car more pedal to get up the hill. Well, a DC powered sewing machine, you do not. You can go from thin to thick, not giving it any more electricity. It's constant power no matter what pedal point you're at. So why would Janome go to a brushless DC motor? Well, good question. The reason why is brushless DC motors are even more efficient, they last longer, there's almost no heat, and the estimated life on a brush motor is between one and 3,000 hours. They're saying now tens of thousands of hours of life into this motor alone. So a better product goes into a better machine, which makes it better overall. And the brushless motor also is much more efficient because it doesn't have the brushes in there to wear, and it also gives you more consistent power will last a lot longer. So a great feature they put in this new machine. One of the many things we're gonna be talking about as we learn these different features, but the new brushless motor in this machine makes it the fastest, most powerful Janome ever produced. We'll get back to some more features and give you those heads up. So we're back again with some more tech talk about the new M7. Kathy and I were just talking about the new SFSI system. Janome's always had a superior feed system, but they've changed it a little bit. Kathy, tell us what that I stands for. Right, so SFSI, the I stands for intelligent. And what happens is when you lift the presser foot up, the feed dogs drop automatically, which allows you to insert your fabric more easily and there's no drag on your fabric and your fabric is not going to catch. And then when you put your presser foot back down, when you take your stitch, those that first stitch, those feed dogs go up automatically. And then watch when we drop off the plate. Again, we're gonna touch the lock function. We're gonna access our quick change throw plate, which is the coolest thing in the world. It raises up magnetically and comes off with no tools. Now, Kathy, we just learned in class they've also made some changes to the feed dogs. What did they do there? All right, the feed dogs are actually spaced differently now, so you get a better stitch. Even those nine millimeter stitches are going to come out perfect, and also the teeth on the feed dogs are sharper, so you get better gripping of your fabric as you're stitching. Yeah, it's really amazing. Again, we're talking about reasons why this M7 has been improved. Janome took a good part and even made it better, which makes this a better machine all around. Next one, we come back we're going to talk a little bit about the paint they use, which is really special for this machine as well. Thanks for joining us. We'll have more coming. All right, so we're back with our third wait a minute, our third tech tip. This machine has given us so much to talk about. We're so excited. Check out the paint on this. What a beautiful finish Janome did. They used a powder coating technique, a lot like what's used in the automotive industry. The reason being is it helps to eliminate scratches. It also helps to eliminate any cracks in the finish. So they're saying that the paint on this is almost a lifetime of, of good looks coming from a beautiful machine. Another reason why Janome has put a better ingredient to make a better product. Another cool thing we learned today is that there's a low bobbin sensor that uses some really cool technology. Lauren's gonna tell us all about that. Yeah, so there's absolutely nothing worse than running out of bobbin thread while you're sewing. So because of this, Janome included a bobbin sensor in this machine, and it actually uses infrared rays to shine through the center of the bobbin, and that alerts you when you only have 22 inches of thread left to work with. So when you get to this last 22 inches, it'll let you know it's time to put a new bobbin in there. And another feature of this as well is we get a lot of lint when we sew, especially when we're quilting. So this machine will alert you every five sewing hours, so five hours that you spend actually stitching, the machine will alert you and tell you that it's time to actually clean out your bobbin area. So that's something cool. You won't have to go back to the dealer every time you need something cleaned a little bit. You get out your lint brush and your vacuum, you clean that out and you're good to go. All right, so we're back with tech tip number four. Again, going into the insides of this machine, we're learning more and more. Kathy, tell us why Janome was able to get 1,300 stitches out of this machine, or at least one reason that helped them get the high speed out of this machine. What did they do to make this thing last longer on the top of this? I'm glad you asked me, Paul, because Janome uses ball bearings on their shaft on the internal components of the machine. So this is going to make the machine smoother, faster, and longer lasting. Absolutely. Anytime you put a ball bearing on a metal shaft, it's always better. There's extra expense in that, there's extra parts in that, but Janome did it to make the machine better. 
Another cool thing on this, come up close here. Our bobbin winder now, independent motor on this bobbin winder. Kathy, turn it on. Now hold your ears, folks, because yeah, you're not going to believe how loud this, this is. It is almost silent. We yeah. actually had to listen up close to hear this. You can yes. hear almost no noise. I can't even hear it from the back of the machine. It is that quiet. Yeah. And look at too on this hand wheel. They actually put little ridges around the hand wheel to make it easy to grab and turn. With the needle up and down, it's rare that we ever have to use this, but it almost it feels so nice when you grab a hold of that big hand wheel with the with the notches cut in it. Again, why do they do it? Make a better product, better pieces go into it. It's gonna last longer, everyone's gonna love this. We can't wait for you guys to see this in our store. It is an amazing machine. All these changes are gonna make your sewing experience so much easier, faster, quicker, and more enjoyable. We'll have them in the store real soon. Hi guys, we're taking over Paul's Tech Tips with number five in our series today. And we wanna show you the great screen on the Continental M7. So Lauren, can you tell us about the size of that screen? So this is a seven inch screen, which is huge. And it's placed right in the middle of the machine and that's for ergonomics. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable for you to sit and work on this screen. It's very intuitive, very touch sensitive, and all your controls are easy access. It's also angled to help prevent the glare and it's at a great height for when you're sitting, you'll be able to see that um, very easily. And the center placement is great for whether you're righty or lefty, it's very convenient. And the best thing too, which we love, is there's a clock so you can tell the time when you're actually sewing. Hi everyone, we're here for tech tip number six. So a lot of times we see stitches on our machine and we have no idea what they're used for, how to use them. And let's say for example, I want to pick this stitch right here and I have no idea what that means. Lauren, can you tell us about the new AccuSpark app for Janome that will explain how to better utilize our stitches and what they are? Yeah, so no matter what screen you're on, on this machine, it's gonna have a QR code in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And what this machine allows me to do is download the AccuSpark app on my phone. And all I have to do, you can see I barely even cross the path of the QR code and it scans it for me and it gives me information about the stitch. It also provides information about selecting a needle and thread, how to wind the bobbin, how to thread the machine. Right. So some of you, you know, if you don't feel comfortable using the app, you don't have to. This machine comes with a PC expansion app, so you can also load this program on your computer and it gives you all the benefits of the AccuSpark app. So you can actually use that on your computer to find out more information about your stitches and also how to utilize them. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're here for tech tip number seven. And in this video, we're gonna show you about the quilt lock function in this machine. And that's a great function for all of you guys out there who are quilters and maybe you're getting started doing a block and you need a little help. So this function helps you get started. And Lauren, you wanna explain that a little bit more to them? Yeah, so there's something in this machine actually called quilt block advisor. So when I come in here, it's actually gonna give me a couple different blocks to choose from. So I have nine patch, mosaic, baby blocks. And after I select one, it's going to give me more information about the block itself. It's going to tell me how many pieces of each color I'll need. I can tell it how many rows I want, and I can even set the width and height of the block. It's in centimeters now, but I can change it to inches. And again, I have another QR code here. So if I come in with the AccuSpark app and I scan this code right here, it's going to give me information about constructing the quilt block, how to actually piece it and put it together. So this is a great way to learn how to quilt if you're not familiar with quilting already. That is really helpful.